I absolutely love my bookcase. I like reorganising it, I like looking at all my books, and so when I discovered the bookshelf tag created by Ramblings of a Redhead Girl, I decided that I would do a video of the tag. It originates from book blogging, so I will link the original blog down below. I have made a few little adjustments to the questions just so that it suits me a little bit better, but for the most part the questions are the same. So question number one was describe your bookshelves and tell you where they are from. Now I don't need to describe them because you can see them for yourself and also I've done a bookshelf tour which I will link for you, but in case you wanted to know these are the Billy bookshelves in black brown from Ikea. The next question is how my books are organised and you can see this in more detail in my bookshelf tour but my top shelf which is just out of frame is all of my hardback books or at least most of my hardback books. Here are the majority of my series. Here on this shelf I have books by the same author that aren't necessarily in the same series as well as some additional series and some random books. The shelf below it that you can't see in shot is just random books where I've only got one book by an author. I also have my TBR cart where the top shelf is my TBR and the second shelf is where I keep the books that I have completed in the month. The bottom shelf just has camera equipment and then my smaller bookshelf that's over there has the stuff that wouldn't fit here. I do have a Sanderson shelf over there, I have a manga shelf over there and otherwise it's just a random collection of books. So some organisation, some not so organised but it makes sense to me. The next question was the thickest book which I'm going to interpret as the book that I have that has the most amount of pages and of course it had to be a Sanderson book didn't it? Oathbringer, which is book three in the Stormlight Archive, which brings in at 1,232 pages, not including the Ars Arcanum, which is the section at the back that explains some cultural points and the magic system in a little bit more complex detail, etc. If I'm including the Ars Arcanum, then it's 1,242 pages long, so definitely the longest tome that I have. The next question is the thinnest book and I'm going with the shortest book that I own, which I think is Flying Witch by Chihiro Ishizuka, which is a very very small and very very short manga. I'm going with this because it's also manga. I've possibly got a book that has less pages but I suspect this one has the fewest amount of words and is therefore the shortest. I could be wrong but this is the one I'm going with for this question. The next question is a book that was gifted to you and I'm very lucky. People know that I love books and so I do get gifted books quite often but I'm going to mention The Fountains of Paradise by Arthur C. Clarke which was a gift from my friend Nisha and the reason I am choosing this one for this question is because this is one of her favourite books ever and I really need to read it. So this is me shaming myself. I need to read this. I did even start it and I just classic fantasy scares me. I need to just get over it. The next question is a book that was given to you by a friend and I just did a book that was gifted to me by a friend so I'm interpreting this as a book that was passed on to me by a friend. So for this one I'm going with Four by Veronica Roth which was given to me by my friend Jess. She had read it and she wanted to give it to me for me to read back at the time when the Divergent series was this really big thing and I don't think I ever did get round to reading this and now I probably won't. So sorry Jess. The next question is the most expensive book on your bookshelves and I wasn't a hundred percent sure what the most expensive book I own is, so I'm cheating very slightly and I'm going to include this edition of The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black because it came in a special edition fairy loot box. So it came with a bunch of other stuff but technically 
it's the book I spent the most amount of money on because I wouldn't have got the book if I didn't get the box. So, I mean, this is kind of cheating, but my channel, my rules. So, this is the one I'm going with. And, isn't it beautiful? Yes. Yes. Next up we have the last book on your shelves that you read and so this isn't the last book that I finished because the last book that I finished was Sadie but I listened to that on audio and I had borrowed it from the library so I'm going with the last book that I own that I finished which is The Grinch, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas by Dr Seuss and I loved it, it's great, I really enjoy this Christmas story. I really do. Next up, a book that you own in duplicate. We have Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. I have this beautiful yellow sprayed edge fairy loot edition and then I have the standard UK hardback edition as well. And since I love Sanderson and I'm really enjoying this series, I'm not even remotely tempted to get rid of one of them. I might do at one point if space becomes a real issue, but as of right now I have space for them both and so I'm keeping them both. Next question is whether or not you have any complete series on your shelves, and yes, yes I do. Observe my series shelf. I have the entire Queen of the Teerling series, the entire Illuminae Files series, the entire, you can't see it, but the original His Dark Materials trilogy. You also can't see this, but I've got the full Girl of Fire and Thorns series. I have the full Red Queen series. I have the full Caraval series, only two books on this shelf and the third book is up there. I have the original Grisha trilogy. I have the entire series of The Toll. I have many, many, many full series and I have others in the other room as well. So resounding yes for that one. Next question is the newest book on your shelves and the book that I purchased most recently is The Grinch Who Stole Christmas by Dr Seuss because I bought it on Saturday morning and I read it on Saturday evening so this one. The next question is a book that's been on your shelf forever and what I'm going to interpret this question as is the book that has been on my TBR for the longest and so I think I'm pretty sure that the because I'm pretty good at reading the books on my shelves so I think the one that's been on my TBR longest is actually the two last books in the Red Queen series so King's Cage and Warstorm I'm pretty sure that those two are the books that have been on my TBR for the longest then it's the book on your bookshelves that has been most recently published and I'm actually not 100% sure when Queen of Nothing was published but I'm pretty sure that Starsight was published more recently than Queen of Nothing but I think that they were published around the same time so it's going to be one of these two and I'm not entirely sure which one but definitely one of those. Then another sort of oldest on your bookshelf, been on your bookshelf the longest kind of question. This one I'm going to interpret as the book that I have owned for the longest. So not the book that is the oldest in terms of publication, not the oldest in terms of the copy is the oldest, although this probably still satisfies that as well, but the book that has been in my book collection for the longest is Winnie the Pooh by A.A. A. Milne, which my parents gifted to me for Christmas 1992, for which I would have been a grand total of one years old. So I'm pretty sure that this is the book that I have owned for the longest and still have. Next up, a fun one, a book on your bookshelves that you won and I won this advanced reader copy of Frankly in Love by David Yoon in a raffle at Yalk, which never happens, but somehow I managed to win quite a few books at Yalk, and this is one of them. I have read this one, did really enjoy it, and possibly enjoyed it all the more because I didn't have to buy it. <laughs> win! <laughs> the next few questions I'm going to give slight 
slight cop-out answers for. The first question is a book that you hate to let out of your sight and honestly all of them. I have this really weird anxiety thing where I don't like to lend my books, probably because when I was younger I did lend my books. I lent my entire series of The Symphony of Ages by Elizabeth Hayden to a friend of mine and they're really difficult to get hold of. I'm pretty sure they don't print them anymore, at least not the original trilogy and the second trilogy. And she never gave them back, so... I then waited 10 years before I got replacement copies so I just I don't like to lend my books to people and the thought of it really stresses me out so all of them. And then similarly my answer to the next question is none of them the question being which of your books is the most beaten up. Now I recently posted a Harry Potter ranking video which I will link somewhere and there were a couple of Harry Potter books that are slightly beaten up, but those were shared for a number of years between myself, my mum and my sister and were read many, many times. So possibly those are the most beaten up. But in general, I like to keep all of my books completely pristine. So not really any of them. So clearly the answer to the next question, which of your books is most pristine is again, basically all of them because I'm a little bit pedantic about my books so it's not a trait that I'm particularly proud of but it's the way it is. Next up is a book from your childhood and I actually have a whole video on my channel where I take a little stroll down bookish memory lane and show you a few of my books from my childhood so I will link that one for you as well in case you're interested. And then the next question is a book that isn't actually mine and given what I've said about me not liking to lend my books I think it would be pretty hypocritical of me to then extendedly borrow another person's book so I can happily say that I don't have any books on my shelves that aren't mine. The next question is a book with a special or different cover and I have this cloth bound classics edition of Jane Eyre and as the name would suggest it is indeed cloth bound so this is probably the only different material cover that I own I'm pretty sure that's right. The penultimate question is a book on your bookshelves that is in your favourite colour and for this one I have Scythe by Neil Shusterman because my favourite colour is red and this has lots of red on it. And then the final question is do you have any signed books? And actually I'm really lucky I have quite a lot of signed books and I may just do a signed book collection video at some point so keep your eyes peeled for that but because I went to Yalk this year I got quite a lot of books signed at Yelk. So yes, I do have quite a few signed books. And that's it for this tag. I hope that you found it interesting and educational maybe. Let me know your answers to these questions or if you plan to do this video then link it down below once you've posted it and I would love to check it out. I tag basically anybody who's watching who wants to do this tag and that's it for this one. Thank you so so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more like this from me then do think about hitting that subscribe button and I hope to see you here again soon. Thanks! Bye!